Hello. In this video, I would like to explain how we can write a Python program to generate a uniform discrete random variable. This is the sort of random variable that will be sampled when you roll a fair dice. With that in mind, let's suppose that we have a four-sided dice. When we roll this dice, we would get either 1, 2, 3 or 4. The probability mass function for the random variable we are generating by rolling this dice is illustrated on this slide. There are bars for the four possible outcomes that we can get. Furthermore, all these bars have the same height as the four results are all equally probable as the dice is fair. We can use what we learned last week to generate the random variable. As was discussed last week, we can construct a segmented line, like the one shown here, from the probability mass function. This line has a total length of 1 because our probability mass function is normalised. We can thus pick a point on this line by generating a uniform continuous random variable between 0 and 1. If this uniform random variable falls within the blue segment of the line, we return 1 as the value of our uniform discrete random variable. If the uniform continuous random variable falls within the green section of the line, we return 2. If the uniform continuous random variable falls within the red section of the line, we return 3. And last but not least, if the uniform continuous random variable falls within the purple section of the line, we return 4. Lastly, as we discussed last week, we can use the probability mass function to set the locations of the boundaries between these various coloured regions. The blue region, for instance, ends at the probability that x equals 1. So the blue region has this length. The green region then ends at the probability of x equals 1 plus the probability of x equals 2. So that the green region has a total length that is, equal, that is proportional to the probability that x is equal to 2, and so on. If we set a and b equal to the lowest and highest integer values that our random variable can take, the following function can be used to sample variables from this distribution. This function uses the ideas that I've just explained using pictures in order to generate random variables from this distribution. As you can see, a uniform random variable, a uniform continuous random variable is generated here by calling NP random uniform. We then set PP equal to the probability, probability that the random variable is equal to a, which is 1 divided by b plus 1 minus a. To understand where this formula comes from, suppose we want random variables from this distribution with b equals 4 and a equals 1. This is the distribution that is illustrated in the graph b plus 1 minus a is equal to 4 plus 1 minus 1 in this case, which is 4, and thus the probability is 1 quarter, as it should be. As discussed last week, we proceed by testing whether our uniform continuous random variable is less than pp, the probability that x equals 1, x equals a. If the uniform continuous random variable u is less than this value pp, then we know that the uniform discrete random variable should be set equal to a. If, however, u is greater than pp, then we do not yet know what value the uniform discrete random variable should take. We must therefore continue and test whether it falls within the next of our line segments. We thus add the probability that the random variable is equal to a plus 1 to pp and add 1 to b, before testing if u is less than pp once more. This process is repeated until u is less than pp, as at this point we have identified the segment of our line that our uniform continuous random variable has fallen into. 
we are thus in a position to return the value of the uniform discrete random variable. This is exactly the algorithm that we used for generating multinomial trials and the Poisson random variable last week. There is one simplification here, however. The probability of all outcomes are the same. Every time we update PP within the while loop here, we are thus adding the same value to this variable. The fact that we are already, always adding the same value allows us to simplify this code considerably. Instead of writing a while loop, we can simply write the same function like this. To understand how this code works, consider first of all all the code without the covered parts here. We have seen a function like this before. This function is simply generating a uniform continuous random variable that lies somewhere between a and b plus 1. Now consider what happens when we insert the np floor command. Any uniform continuous random variable between a and a plus 1, i.e. all the numbers in the blue region here, are rounded down to a. Any uniform continuous random variable between a plus 1 and a plus 2, i.e. all the numbers in the green region here, are rounded down to a plus 1. Any uniform continuous random variable between a plus 2 and a plus 3, i.e. all the numbers in the red region here, is rounded down to a plus 2. And lastly, any uniform continuous random variable between a plus 3 and a plus 4, i.e. all the numbers in the purple region here, are rounded down to a plus 3. This single line of Python thus generates our uniform discrete random variable. I hope that is reasonably clear and that you are thus able to complete the REPL exercises that follow. Thanks for your attention and good luck.